former NASA astronaut Scott Parazinski joins me now by phone. Scott, you flew with John Glenn on his last flight, the STS-95 Space Shuttle mission in 1998. He was 77 years old at the time. Can you tell us a little bit about that mission and what it was like to go into space with John Glenn? Well, for someone who grew up in the shadow of the, uh, the Apollo program and, and uh, dreaming of becoming an astronaut, get a chance to fly with your boyhood hero like John, uh, it was uh, you know, the most extraordinary life experience, um, like playing basketball with Michael Jordan or, or uh, you know, playing soccer with Pele. It was uh, a dream come true for me. Um, but it was a very, very busy mission uh, dedicated in large part to the life sciences, and we're looking at John's adaptation as a uh, a young but still 77-year-old astronaut uh, to the uh, the rigors of space flight. So, how does a uh, an older astronaut adapt to space uh, as compared to even younger astronauts who also experience uh, what I describe as accelerated aging? You know, mm -hmm. our, our muscles and bones and heart weaken over a time in, in weightlessness. So, we're interested in in learning from John how he would adapt. I'm curious, um, you had a chance obviously to spend um, time with him aside from the actual mission itself. We know John Glenn lived a very full life outside of the space program. Can you tell us what he was like as a person? Oh gosh, what, what an incredible human being he, he was. Uh, he uh, was so interested in other people. He had a, a brilliant, active mind, always uh, asking questions about uh, um, other people and, and uh, you know, staying abreast of everything in science and technology and policy. You know, it, was, it was always fascinating to, uh, to spend time with him and, and know what his, uh, his, uh, his causes and interests were. Um, but I think ultimately he was uh, just a very humble patriot. He, um, he loved his country more than anything. He, he served it through two wars, uh, you know, was a pioneering astronaut in the very scary early days of space flight during Project Mercury, became a United States senator and served uh, you know, 24 years, and, uh, and then came back and, and took on great risk to fly again on the space shuttle. And uh, so he, he was just a, a hero among men. Yeah, yeah. Such, such a unique figure in our American history. Uh, last question I have, Scott, what kind of legacy would you say John Glenn leaves behind? He, he touched so many different spheres of, uh, of society, from uh, science and technology to policy. He was an incredible statesman. Um, but I think what he uh, uh, will be most remembered for is his patriotism. You know, uh, as uh, um, someone who, who took on great risks for our, our country to advance uh, our nation and, and, uh, and did it as a um, you know, very humble um, you know, wonderful human being. Um, I, I guess I'd just leave you with uh, the way I remember John as uh, just a, a very loving, caring person, but uh, he would always ask me uh, about my family, and, you know, maybe five minutes into a conversation, I could get a, a question in edgewise to ask him about how he was doing. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, he, he, he loved his family, uh, you know, his wonderful wife, Annie, who was his high school sweetheart, um, they knew each other their entire lives, and uh, I'll, I'll just always remember uh, the incredible heart that he had. All right. Former astronaut Scott Parazinski, thanks so much for sharing your reflections with us. Thank you.